Huh. Let me ask you something personally. Your favorite UGK album? Is there? Can 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 you pick one? They're all important for different reasons, right? So I can't say which one was my favorite because there's different experiences to all of them. If I had to say one was. I mean, maybe Underground Kings, the double album where, where Pimp C comes home from jail, right? Mm. Because up until then, you're not really sure what anything is going to be, right? But in that case, I already knew what was going to happen when we got back together, and, you know, started making the music again because we were actually, we actually had a higher profile after he came home from prison than before he went to prison. And the music industry had a better understanding of what it is we do after he came home from prison as opposed to before. So I already knew what was for that. Pimp comes home at the height of this H-Town takeover, right? Where, where the world wants to know everything about the lifestyle that we've been talking about for years. You know sure. what I'm saying? So, I mean, I already knew we, we're out of here. You know, if they let us make the album that we know to make and kind of sum up everything that everybody's already been saying, right? Um, put that exclamation on the point, uh, exclamation point at the end, so to speak. Um, and they did. And the album literally debuted number one on top of the Billboard 200s, not the Heat Seekers or hip hop R&B, like number one album in the country in any genre format. Well, um, and how did you, did you celebrate that? Did you Were you able to take a chance to congratulate each other on that? or Because sometimes people don't really, you know, they go through their victories. and Yeah, that we got to celebrate together. Um, we eventually ended up getting the Grammy nomination and that which was something that had been a lifelong dream of his, but he didn't live to see that. Mm. But that was like his last, his last stroke of genius was creating the song against everybody. Nope. The song in question is Players Anthem, International Players Anthem. With Outkast. Uh huh. And so this was a song that shouldn't have even been done, but he was so adamant about it being done. Why? What did, did well, he, because did he... it was. So when he was locked up, one of his favorite albums while he was locked up was a Project Pat album. Mm. And on that album was a song called I Choose You, which was basically the same beat that sure. we have for Players Anthem. So when Pimp comes home, and this is a very fun, it's a fun story to tell. Pimp comes home, and we go and see, like, we're just getting back to around everybody. And so, like I said, DJ Paul is one of Pimp's best friends. And so when they get back together, you know, we start talking about the Underground Mafia project, which was something that was supposed to happen before Pimp got locked up, which was Underground Kings and 3-6 Mafia mm. coming together as a group to be the Underground Mafia. So Pimp is like, man, you know what was jamming, man, was that project, that song, man, that Pat song, I Choose You. That was a hit record, man. Why y'all ain't, you know, Gofi said, well, you know, I was an independent project. We wasn't really, you know, machine or anything like that. He was like, yeah, man, but that's a hit record. Y'all need to put that motherfucker back out. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, you can't put the record back out. That's, you know, we got new music we we own from there. He's like, yeah, but that beat, man, that, that beat was a hit, man. That beat need to come back out. It's a hit record, you know? And he was like, man, well, you know, it's already gone. Pim was like, man, can I have it? You know, we'll pay you for it because we got a budget. You know what I'm saying? We got a nice budget when when Pimp comes home. And they're like, but you want the same beat? Pimp was like, yeah, I want that same style. Cause if you're going to pay Pimp, because like, it wasn't a money thing, right? But we like, had a budget. We was going to get our homies paid. And he was like, man, but we can make you a fresh beat from scratch, some hard shit. Man, I, I want to rap to that beat right there. Mm. So they eventually, you know, they gave us the track. And we wrote to it and they wrote to it. And, um, but their version, their rapping never came out because the label wouldn't clear it because they were like, they were going through contract negotiations based off of 3 Six Mafia winning the awards. So they whatever. were supposed to be um, on, on the song on, as um, well. I, what is it? Um, International Play International Anthem. Playing Anthem. Now, let me ask you um, how did even Outcast come in? The they heard it on samplers. Like what? they both heard it separately on. Like you know, I, we record companies used to put out album samplers, sure. and it was um, All Star Game in in uh, L. A. And they passed the samplers out, and Big Boy and and um, Andre both got them separately, and both wanted to rap on it, and end up laying verses. And did they call you or Pim? They called me. They both called me separately. And what they say? It's like I like the beat. I want to rap to it. But Big was like, I, I just want to rap to the drums. 
so mine can stand out different. I just want to rap to the drums. And Andre was like, I like it, but I just want to rap to the to the loop. I don't want to. I don't want no drums underneath. So that's why you see Andre at the beginning just rapping over the music. And then when Big Boy comes in, the beat drops out, and he's just kind of rapping over the beat. It was just these little touches that they kind of wanted to do, so we bookended the song with it. And because they were outcast as a group, even though they weren't actively recording at the time, as a group, they were still signed to Arista, which was now under the Jive umbrella, so we don't even have to clear it because mm. mm. it's in-house. Mm. All they have to do is you know, agree to it, which they did and recorded, so now we don't have to worry about calling the record company and clearing it or none of that. 